Okay, good morning everybody. This is Christopher Leon Johnson here. So, um, what I'm doing now, I just came out of the United Nations. Uh, so, my UN pass right here, guys. And um, I know a lot of people want to see, like, why is everybody at uh, Manhattan Community Board 8 is complaining and upset about this uh, situation that um, Yandis Rodriguez is so desperate to put put in um, trying to put around here, which is like a bike lane. He's trying to make a bike lane from 48th Street all the way, from 48th First all the way to 41st, uh, 41st Street and 1st Avenue, right in front of the UN. And it's getting a lot of backlash to the point that Transalp, Transportation Alternatives, is not even like even supporting it. So Yandis know that, um, Yandis knows that um, the community is not rocking with this plan because they know like, the UN is like a place where it's like, it's really off limits. Myself and personal, um, I wear my UN pass just in case I get, I get messed with by the police because the truth is that um, there's a lot of laws when it comes to protesting in the United Nations. I'm not protesting, I'm not protesting the UN, but the way people might see it is like, you're protesting the UN and people might make some calls to the cops and say like, well, you gotta protest outside the UN and the cops fight my stuff, fuck with me and shit like that. So I'm having my press, my, my pass on. I love the UN. I'm not here to protest the UN. I know I'm taking videos right in front of the UN, so you got I gotta be real careful about that because, like I said, cops they real strict. It's federal law for 20, 2003, stating that you cannot protest in front of the UN. So let's make that clear. I'm here to show the bike lane that Yandis Rodriguez is so desperately trying to push. Yandis is only doing this for the money, and he's trying to make he's trying to prove to the trans old that. Um, He's trying to prove to Transalt that um, he's he's really with them because they hate Robert Moses because Robert Moses was a a great urban planner and the the bike roads at Transalt don't like Robert Moses. So um, on the 41st Street, 41st Street and First, of course, the street from UN, right on the same side of the United Nations, that big building right there, there's a park dedicated to Robert Moses, and you can tell like the reason they're doing this park, they're doing this bike. Resign because they're trying to stick to Robert Moses. So look, look how they did this. This is Yandis Rodriguez. This is Yandis in the nutshell. This was not Transo who did this. This was Yandis Rodriguez, and the reason he's doing this is to stick it to the apps. This is all it's about, guys. This is all it's about. So um, I gotta go to um cover an event that Dion Powell. Shout out to Dion Powell. Actually, come out to your bikes here. Actually, come out to. So I'll come out. That's my boy. That's my bro. So I'll come out support him. So they try to put a bike lane here. So they said to Yandis Rodriguez, cro crooked ass, uh, put a bike lane here, put a bike lane over here. And the funny thing about it, right? He put a bike lane here, and this is just a PZ apps, Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and um, Grubhub. And but the funny thing about it, right? The funny thing about it is, um, Yandis was trying to. He took he took a picture. He took a picture of this. He took a picture of this. He tried to. He tried to make like. Let's put a bike lane. They're not gonna put a bike lane under the tunnel. They trying to put a bike lane here on this side. Um, they know that. Oh, sorry, I don't want to get hit by a taxi. He knows that the UN would never allow him to put a bike lane on their side of the of their side of the spectrum. Like I said, the UN, the United Nations, is one of the most um, strictest locations that you can ever do things around. Um, they real they real strict on who gets in, who doesn't get in. You have to be sponsored to get a pass like this. I know people, so you gotta get a you gotta get sponsored to get a pass like this. Um Yeah, so going forward guys, uh so yeah, like I said, this is just a sticker to Robert Moses. This is nothing but a, a, a crooked plan by Yannis Rodriguez just a sticker to Robert Moses. And the funny thing about it is that they didn't even design the bike lane correctly. Look at look at the lines. The lines is all crooked, it's not even straight. Like I said, what they're trying to do is trying to make it they trying to make it uh, convenient for the bike bros and for the deliveristas. So when people start people start saying well, we need to repeal this, like, oh, we have one here. It's already it's already made here. It's already made here. So we can't get rid of this bike lane. This is bullshit. This is nothing but a crooked play my trans off and open plans to redesign an area where everybody know damn well you should be redesigning. Right? You shouldn't be redesigning. They want to redesign a bike lane, but they don't want to um, uh, try to help change that law when it's coming to protest in the United. I'm not. I'm not saying like when it comes to protest in the United Nations. 2003, 
federal judge put it to where it's like, if you want to protest United Nations, you had to protest here, 48th Street at first, or you got to protest on 43rd at uh, First Avenue. But no one wants to say anything about that. If you have a, big, if you have a protest, they're going to make you go over there. Um, that's the plaza, right here, the plaza. But they ain't going to fight for that. Because it's all about them, it's all about themselves, it's all about their little bullshit agenda that's what it's about. So going forward, guys, you hear this right here. Um, Transalt, you can tell Transalt made DOT in the, in the nighttime, not in the daytime, in the nighttime when everybody's asleep. Come out here and put these lines, put these lines in this bike lane. Put these bikes in this bike lane. Um, this is all about peace in the bike roads. This is complete bullshit. Um, because they know that nobody can't park here. Nobody can never park, even like say, it was even this bike lane wasn't here. Like I said, the United Nations area is a different zoning area. Uh, Turkey, Eric Adams' favorite, Eric Adams' favorite uh, location. This is his favorite house, Turkish house, favorite house, by the way, favorite restaurant. But uh, yeah, Turkish house, Eric Adams' favorite spot. Even like I said, this, the bike lane's not here. The United Nations zoning area is real strict is where you see this bus can't be here that long you gotta drop them off you gotta drop these people off and get the hell out out there got the way they real strict really really strict really strict about um what it is because this is a they design as a a, a a high secure sensitive location so um what's this see look at this bullshit this is this is the shit that um no parking to each day contract capital project hw2 cr 23d and somebody ripped the side i didn't rip the side i just saw this Let's see what this is about roadway yeah so so yeah they real strict about um they real strict about um like let's have to be careful so this is the bike lane they try to put here. So I say, Yandas is getting desperate. They have many meetings about this virtually because they know that if they have it in person, they're gonna get cursed out. And Yandas gonna get cursed out. Yandas try to make it like he's like he's well liked and everybody likes the guy and everybody respects him and shit like that. But the truth is, nobody respects him. Nobody likes the guy. He's an asshole. So this is the bike lane here. They try, they try to make a beat for these people here. This is ridiculous. It's all about the apps because the apps fund these people's campaigns. So today's the sixth, the eighth, the sixth, the eighth of um, the eighth of August, 2024. This is all about the apps, guys. All about the apps. See, see how Yan this dirty, dirty ass, crooked ass is. He put a bike lane here, but he won't. He, he will never be put across the street because you know what will happen. Real, real dirty bastard. Real crooked, real crooked bastard. Really crooked. Really crooked bastard. So we're going forward, like I said, guys, this is not a protest against the UN. This is just to show a, um, the bike lane they put it here. He's definitely trying to put here, put for, for the apps. He's trying to push it for, I gotta go to see Dion Powers, my boy, at 12 o'clock. So he have a rally. I'm gonna go support him. So, came outside, it's, it's raining, it's not hot. It's really raining out. So, so this is what they trying to do here. This is this is desperation talk about the end. This put a bike lane by the DOT, all done by the DOT in the nighttime when there's nobody. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody sleep. These these corporate these uh corporations are crooked, like Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash. While the corp the companies that they have installed to push the agendas, like uh, Worker Justice Project, uh, ran by Liga Galapa. Look at Galapa. She's um she's uh um she's um like being used as a token, the token Latina, token Latina organization, Latino organization to try to put make it like what well, we give her his bike lane, it's gonna hurt the black, it's gonna hurt the minorities. What's this complete bullshit? So like I said, the people gotta be careful with these like the or like Workers Justice Project, which oversees Los Angeles Nisos. Try to push for this bike lane bullshit because all they care about is um, all they care about is um, um, like trying to get paid by the apps. That's all they care about. 
All they care about is get paid by the apps. It's fucking disgusting, yo. Uh, by these corporations and these uh, foundations and um, these foundations and shit like that. That's all they care about. So people have to be careful when those fake Larissas come out and try to advocate for the bike lane. This bike lane. Because they're getting used. Um, they're getting be used. They're getting used by, by Yandis and the mayor's office to push the agenda for Transo. So across the street right here is uh, Robert Moses Park. It's Robert Moses Park, by the way. So yeah, they're trying to put a bike lane here. This, this is not going to work. And the people, I, 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 I feel the people's pain for not for being against this bullshit concept because it's going to hurt everybody. This is not safe at all for bikers. This is a, like there's certain streets in New York City that's only designed for cars, not designed for bikes. See here, that's designed for fucking uh, uh, buses, trucks, and cars, not bikes. Not bikes. But we all know what it's about. It's about it's about the money. It's a lot of money behind this. And Yan is getting so desperate to push it. And you know that the only way you can push it is do uh, virtual meetings. And behind it, virtual meetings and behind the scenes, behind behind the back, uh, behind the back, um, behind the scenes. Look, this is not safe for biking. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Crazy, right? Behind the scenes. Look. Bikes, like, look, cars, they're not going to, like I said, cars on the bike, like, come on, they don't give a fuck. Cars on the bike lane, they don't give a shit. Don't give three shits about a fucking bike. This is, this is, this is, this is a farce. Really a farce. Really a farce. Look at this, he died even right on the bike lane. This is crazy. So we don't know what this is about. This this is about trying to stick it to Robert Moses. This is about these piece of the bike bros and shit like that. This is all about and the funny thing about it is like everybody knows this is a flaw pan. This is a flaw plan. This is not gonna work. Even like I said, even if you um even if um you do this, why don't you put barriers? Why don't you put barriers, Jan? This he ain't gonna do that. You know why? Because he knows a lot of money to spend and he knows that he need more of these people, like these guys here to get start getting killed. I'm not saying I'm not saying that in that bad way. But the truth, he needs he needs some of these guys to start getting killed because these start these these guys start dying, they make money off the visuals. There's more money when people are dead than people are alive. That's the truth. Let's make that clear. So it's raining out. Try to get on the damn awning. But yeah, so So yeah, it's just a, it's just a lot of dirty shit that Yan is trying to do. Yan is be doing to um, Yan is just doing just to appease his bike bro friends at Transall and open plans shit like that. But this is not going to work at all. This is never going to work. This is not going to work at all. I'll tell you right now, it's not going to work at all. So let me make that clear. I gotta go see my boy Dion Powell. He has a rally at two o'clock. He has to come out and support cover. I say, y'all come up here, bro. Don't worry about it. So, happy Thursday, everybody. Um, it's nice out here, by the way. It's fucking cold, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Murray Hill. Borez District. This is technically Borez, Key Powers, uh, and um, Kristen Gonzalez District. So, let's make that clear. So, I got to say, that's some, this, is, this is a bullshit concept, by the way. It's about to log off. And take care. Adios.